Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine. Um, if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a lookbook that I put together for my bachelorette trip in Atlantic City. Um, everything as far as the sizes will be linked down in the description box, as well as the sizes and things like that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the whole idea behind the items in this lookbook is I want it to be very cute but very comfortable at the same time. Um, you can dress all of these outfits up if you like to. I just decided to dress a couple of them down. Um, I will have a pop-up with a try-on portion of the video so you can kind of see how um, I paired everything together. So first things first, let's start off with my hair. So I decided to do the um, the trend that I've been seeing on TikTok is these sparkle braids. They have a couple different names. You got sparkle braids, glitter braids, fantasy braids, galaxy braids, glitter braids, whatever you want to call them. But yes, I got these. I did the sparkle braids myself. They look super, super cool at nighttime though. They look so glittery at night. They sparkle and then I did curl and cut the ends. This was like halfway down my butt, but I decided to cut them because I felt like it was a little too heavy. Um, but yeah, so I did the sparkle braids. They look super, super cute. Like I said, at nighttime, is, is the showstopper. The showstopper is when it's at nighttime and they just start glistening and being all glittery. But yeah, I did the sparkle braids. Um, I did not do a video, unfortunately. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was tired. Like, this took me 20 hours. Yeah, I said it, 20 hours. One, I'm a very slow braider. Two, this is my first time trying, this is my first time doing any feed in or any braid in particular um but yeah it took me 20 hours to do this but that's okay because they came out super bomb i really really like them um like i said i did cut them they're kind of like this medium size ish um but i did cut them because i felt like they were going to be too heavy and plus our trip is going to be in the warmer months so i didn't want to sweat i didn't want to get too hot with them but yeah, so that's the first thing is the hair. Get into it. Okay, on to the clothes. So let's go into our first outfit of the day, um, which is going to be my go-to outfit. Um, I grabbed this two-piece set from Shein. Um, it's a really, really, really pretty set. It's a satin material. They do have this in a couple other colors as well. I decided to go with the brown color because at the time that I purchased this, like brown has just been the color that I've gravitated towards here lately. Um, I did get a size large in this. The reason why I got a size large in this is because I am bottom heavy, so I have to compensate for the bottom part. Um, but as far as durability um, and quality, this is a pretty good quality fabric. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a little on the thicker side, um, so that's what makes it feel like better quality, if you would say, because it's a little bit thicker. You know how like you have some things that are like thin and see-through? This is not see-through at all. And the reason why I picked this is because this outfit so this outfit is very versatile. You can wear this with the with it completely buttoned down. You can wear it the, with the shirt tucked in, untucked, vice versa. You can wear it with the shirt open. Um, you can wear it with one side tucked in, one side out. Um, and the shorts are very comfortable. Um, and they also have pockets in them too. And you know us girlies, we love something with pockets. So these do have pockets on each side. Um, it does have like this flared top here, which I think is pretty flattering as well. Um, but like I said, it's very comfortable. And then the sunglasses that I paired this with are these shades that I got from Forever 21. I probably had these um, for like about a year now. I'm not really sure, but I've had these for a little while. Um, that I thought will pair great. Again, it's brown, monochromatic look. Um, the hat that I picked, this is also from Shein. 
Um, it just says chill vibes on the top. I got this in a few colors, like literally every neutral color that you can think of, white, black, brown, chocolate brown, beige. Um, when I tried this on with this hat in particular, I thought it looked cute. But for some reason in the camera, it doesn't really kind of go. I feel like it's a little too light. Um, I do have a chocolate brown one though, but the letters on here are chocolate brown. So I figured they would have paired really good together, but we'll see. I might wear the hat, might not wear the hat, might try it on with the chocolate brown hat, um, but we'll see. But for the sake of the video, this is just what I chose. Okay, so we're gonna get into the shoes. So the shoes that I paired this outfit with are the Steve Madden shoes. These do have the sequin on them. So freaking pretty. These are very, very, very comfortable. Um, these are called the Blush Malt Color. Um, I got this in a size, so I got this in a size nine because Steve Madden tends to run a little bit smaller to me. Um, normally I pretty much float between the two sizes. I float between eight and a half, nine, just depends on how the shoes cut. I might even get away with an eight, like, but like I said, it all depends on how the shoes cut. But yes, so that is outfit one. Let's go over to the next outfit. Let's move over to Friday night's outfit. This outfit right here, I'm trying to tell you, fire, okay? I absolutely love this outfit. This is by far my favorite outfit out of this whole lookbook. Yeah. 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 You see it. You're looking at it right. Mm-hmm giving very much yacht because I'm in there okay I'm in there it's giving no budget it's giving fly me out business class only it's giving yes I'm that okay baby if you don't get this you need to get it you need to get it it's a must you cannot leave this video without getting that I promise you it's serious dead serious i did get this outfit from shein the entire outfit is actually from shein everything from the scarf down to the shoes so let's start off with this three-piece set that i got from shein like just look at this just look at this material it has that lettuce like material um and this is what it looks like at the bottom and I got the, I believe this is the ivory color or the champagne color. I forgot what they called it on the website, but baby, this here, and it has like this nice little like sheen going on. Like I feel like I am draped in like, I feel like I've just been draped in luxury. It is a three piece set. It has the pants. Then you have a, um, where's that? Then you have a, like, it's almost like a bathing suit top. You have this as well that it comes with, and it does come with strings as well. And then it comes with a, um, I don't want to call it a jacket, but like a shirt. The shirt does not, I did not know this had buttons on the shirt. You know, how, you know how many times I've tried this on because I just love it so much and I never noticed it had buttons. <sighs> wow. Okay. But anyway. So here's the shirt here, the arms, the sleeves are like a wide sleeve and they drape over your hands. So freaking cute. When I tell you this is so freaking cute, this literally gives luxury, it gives rich auntie, it gives everything. And it's so, 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 so comfortable. It is oversized though. I will be honest, I got a size large. Um, at the time that I purchased this, I was a little bit heavier, so I figured let me get a size large just in case. It is oversized feel, so you can go down in size in this. Um, the pants are stretchy as well, so you do have a stretchy band. I could have gone with a medium with this. I did want it to be a little bit oversized. I kind of wanted that same look that the model had in her picture. Um, and that's kind of how I wanted it to look as well. You can be versatile with the top. You can drape the top like I did over your back. You can have one, one side on your shoulder while the other one slouch. 
or you can tie the front tie the front of the um, shirt as well in the front like when I say this is so versatile this is so versatile and then I also bought this headscarf so this headscarf is also from Shein um, I wanted the headscarf because I thought it would just bring like extraness to this look I thought that the look needed something extra so I paired it with the satin headscarf that I also got from Shein and to be honest with you it's literally like a perfect match like the colors are like slightly when I say slightly it's barely noticeable but I thought this paired very well with the shirt it looks phenomenal and then as far as purse I did pair it with this handbag that I also got from Shein. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box. This purse is a statement in itself. Like the pearl details, the pearl handle, and it also has um, a chain so you can wear it as a crossbody if you wanted to. And the fact that it has gold accents is 10 out of 10 for me because I do not do silver. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can wear this as a crossbody if you like. I personally like it without the crossbody because I love this detail here. This purse is so freaking cute. I get a lot of compliments on this purse. 10 out of 10. As far as shoes, again, shoes came from Shein. They are these cute little kitten heel shoes that have like a plastic strap and then this stretchy type strap with the pointed heel. I love shoes with the pointed heel. I do not like shoes that have the round heel. I, it either has to be a square, a square toe or a pointed toe. But yes, this shoe is so comfortable. Um, the reason why I got a small heel is because I am on the flatter foot side, so I can't wear like those heels that have like the really high inclines. They're just uncomfortable for me. So I wanted to pair this with the outfit and my pants do drape on the floor, which I absolutely love. I am completely okay with it. Um, but like I said, I just wanted it to be comfortable. I didn't want my feet to be hurting. So I paired them with this shoe. The shoes I got in a size um, 39. It's European size 39. I think that's like an eight and a half. I think I got these in an eight and a half. Yeah, they're either eight or eight and a half. Like I said, I'll link it down in the description box of what size that I got um, in that shoe. Okay, so let's move on to um, the Saturday outfit. Now, this outfit is super cute. So I got this pink romper from Shein. Um, the whole idea actually behind this cute outfit is I, when I went through the reviews to see the quality of the jumps of the romper, excuse me, um, I stumbled upon this chick's review and she had the pink romper with a pink shirt with a pink hat. And I was like, oh my God, I need to do that. That is super cute. I would have never thought of that. So I got this pink romper and I believe... What size did I get? I got this in a large. Again, it was to compensate my bottom, but this romper is so comfortable. The material is stretchy. Um, it is slightly see-through, like slightly see-through. Like if you wear the right underwear, you you wouldn't you wouldn't tell. But I I wouldn't wear like a printed underwear or anything like that because like I said, it's slightly see-through, not too much. But as far as the material, the material feels really nice. It's really smooth. Um, it's not yet like a silk feel, but it's definitely not something you would get hot in. Okay, so as far as the top, um, I got this, ooh, it looks really, really pink in the video, in the camera. So I got this button up. It's just a regular button up, uh, button down pink shirt. Um, the material, it's a little on, it's like, it's thick, but it's not thick. This really reminds me of the two piece set that I also got from Shein. It's literally the same material and, um, it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable. It's not, it's not too hot, 
Like you, you can still wear this in the springtime, fall time, and you won't really get cold or anything. I mean, I would recommend wearing this in the summertime because again, it has sleeves, but as far as like the springtime, this will be perfect. Um, I got this in a size large because of my arms. My arms are weird. Like I have to buy shirts that comper that um, compensate for my arms for some reason. My arms are on the larger side. So that's why I got the large. This is true to size. I wouldn't size up on this or size down. Um, I would just go ahead and get your regular size on this. But this was cute with the pink. I thought the two pinks were really cute together. Um, as far as the hat, I also got this from Shein. It's just a plain pink hat. Nothing really much to it. Um, I try to find something that matched closer to the romper in a sense. I didn't want a dark, a hot pink hat on top of a hot pink shirt. I kind of wanted to make them different shades of pink, pretty much. As far as the bag, so I paired it with this crossbody white bag that I've gotten from Forever 21. I've had this bag for a while, so. I just, I totally forgot I had this in here. Oh yeah, I'm about to use this. Oh my God, and here's my chapstick. <laughs> but yeah, I got this crossbody bag from Forever 21. It's just a basic crossbody. I didn't wanna constantly buy things for my trip. I wanted to kind of use what was already in my closet. Like I said, the only thing I bought for this outfit was the romper, the shirt, and the hat. I already had the bag, I already had the shoes. Um, so let's get into the shoes then. So the shoes are also Steve Madden. Um, these are the white version of the tan version that I showed you. This one has the sequins all over the shoe though versus the other ones. Um, I got a size nine in this shoe as well and this is just called white. Um, it's the Maxima, Maxima, collection in Steve Madden. Um, these shoes are comfortable as well, but for some reason, this shoe, um, when you walk in them for a while, it kind of hurts my arch, so I kind of have to break this in a little bit. I've only worn these like twice, twice. Yeah, I've only worn them about twice. So they still have to be broken in, but overall, the look is super cute, um, super chill, like I said. Um, if it ain't pink, it ain't right. Okay, so the next item for this outfit are the glasses that I also got from Shein, and they are super, super cute. They are these pink shades, these pink translucent shades that just elevated this whole look. They also had these shades in other colors. They had like it in blue, brown, uh, I think they even had purple, yellow maybe. Um, but I'll send, I'll put these in the link as well. I also got a blue pair of these. Okay, so we're gonna move into Saturday night's outfit and Saturday night is my bachelorette event, which I am super excited about. Um, so I told all the girlies to find an outfit that has sequin because I want all of us to wear sequin. I want all of us to literally light up the night. So I got this sparkly, gorgeous dress from Fashion Nova and the back is a open back. Oh my God. And it has like a nice scooped cow neck look. Super cute. Um, it is like mid thigh length, but when I tell you it was so hard for me to find a white sequin outfit, it was extremely hard. Like I almost gave up on sis. I literally almost gave up on the color white because I, I was finding every other color in the book besides white. But I am glad I stumbled upon this. I did get this in a size large. Again, gotta compensate for the bottom. But this is so comfortable. It does have a lining on the inside that's like a nice um, ivory color, neutral color. It fits perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and get into the purse. The purse I got from Amazon, and I got the acrylic purse by WJCD. Like, I still have the plastic on it too because like I said, I haven't worn it yet. But how cute is this? And it has a gold chain on the inside. So 
You can wear it as a crossbody if you need to, but how freaking cute is this? Get you one. The reason why I got a acrylic purse is because I wanted the dress to speak for itself. I wanted the dress to be the star of the show, being as though it is sequin. Um, so my accessories, I wanted to tone the accessories down, like I said, to let the dress speak. Um, as far as shoes, I got the INC shoes from Macy's and it's pretty much an acrylic shoe. Like how freaking cute is this? How cute is this? And the heel is actually not that bad. Um, I did try these on in the store. Um, they're pretty comfortable. I My foot is on the flatter side. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but my feet are on the flatter side. So I can't really do like really high heels, but this heel, this is probably the highest that I will go, honestly. Um, because when I do have the shoe on, I do kind of have like a small gap. Like that's how you're really gonna know if a shoe fits you properly, is if your foot literally um, curves to the curve of the shoe. If you have flat feet and you're trying to go with um, high shoes and you're you're going to have a gap right here. If you have a big gap right here where your the ball of your feet meet the bottom of the shoe and you have a big gap right here, that means that shoe does not fit you. That shoe is gonna be very uncomfortable. People with high arches, their feet literally line with the entire shoe because they have that arch for comfortability. So anyway, um, anyway, besides that, but yes, I did get the Prospect shoe. It goes with my Prospect purse. And then I got the little bling on the top. So this does have a bit of silver in here, but that's okay because we about to move on to these hairpins. So I got bright hairpins. I didn't want to do sashes because I, I don't know, I didn't want to cover up my outfit. Like I wanted it to be, I want this to be like a very bougie, a very bougie, very sophisticated bachelorette theme. So I did not want to wear a sash to cover that up. Uh, but I got these cute little bride pins from Amazon. One is gold and one is silver. So that's why I was like, this shoe is perfect because I have gold in my purse, but I have a little bit of silver in my shoe. But look at these bride pins. So cute. Like I said, one's gold, one's silver. But these are so cute. I got these from Amazon. They do have these on Shein, I believe. Um, but the one on Shein said bride to be. By the time I went to go purchase this, it was sold out. But they do have these on Shein as well. Um, but I got these on Amazon. I'll definitely send the link down below. They do have like the diamonds in them too. These are so cute too cute i am so excited to wear this outfit um i will say about the dress the only con that i have about the dress is that the sequin at the bottom rubs against my the back of my knee a little bit which i don't really like because i feel like it's just going to be uncomfortable but i'm going to see if i can try to adjust the dress like maybe like pull the lining down a little bit so that way it's not uncomfortable but yeah, so that's it for Saturday night. Okay, so we're gonna move into Sunday's outfit. I only have one outfit so far for Sunday. Um, I think I am gonna bring like a backup outfit, maybe for dinner, just in case if we decide that we want to go out to dinner. Um, but it's again from Shein. It's this cute blue two-piece set. I've worn this set at least four times at least four times because it's that comfortable. And whenever I buy clothes, I wanna have multiple wears out of, hold on, I wanna fix my hair. I want to have multiple wears whenever I buy clothes, um, but it's this cute blue set. The pants I've noticed, or I just noticed that they're, like when I say a tad bit see-through, just a tad, just a tad bit. Um, but they are a size large. Um, I really wish this set though came separately because the fact that I have to buy large in the bottoms, the top is already oversized and it just looks like the top swims on me a little bit, um, but that's okay. I, I'm just gonna have to wear it as like an oversized look, like a super oversized. So I have to tuck one side in to make it not look like it's so baggy on me. 
but that's the only con up I have about the outfit. Um, it's very soft, it's very lightweight. They do have this in several other colors. I am gonna pick this up though in the beige color and then they have like this cute sage green color. Um, but I got the blue color because I don't really have a lot of blue in my wardrobe. So I was like, the blue will be very pretty. It looks very nice against my skin tone. So the purse that I paired this with is the same white purse I'm pairing the all pink outfit with. I wanted to make sure I can at least get a couple accessories that I can use over and over. And usually when I go places, I usually pack shoes that can go with multiple wears or multiple outfits. So. I did pair it with the white um, Steve Madden shoes that I wore with the pink outfit as well. Um, as far as the glasses, I did get those same pink glasses, but just in blue. This one is like a darker blue. I wish it was a little bit lighter, like how the pink is translucent, but these are so cute. And I feel like these will go really well with this outfit. So this is the hat that I paired it with. It's the same hat like the rest of them that says chill vibes. It's just in the white color. Pretty typical, pretty simple, pretty basic, but comfortable and cute. Like I said, I might do like a backup dinner outfit just in case um, we decide to go out to dinner. But anyway, let's move on to Monday. So lastly is Monday's outfit. This is the going home outfit. We are going to brunch. So I got this jumpsuit from Shein. It has a completely open back and it has like this cute like um, alt halter top to it that straps around your neck. I literally feel like J-Lo in this outfit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I paired it with the hoops and then the sunglasses, I was like, yeah, this is giving very much J-Lo. Um, but it's so cute. I also paired it with this hat that I got from a um, like a bride to be subscription box, and it just has misses on the front. Super basic, super cute, super comfortable. Um, I did also pair it with these glasses that have a little bit of the gold on the side that I got from Forever 21. I've had these for at least like a year and a half now. Um, so these were cute with this outfit. And then also I paired it with this sheer crop top shirt that I also got from Forever 21. I got this in a size medium because the arms are pretty big. They're pretty wide. So I was like, well, I don't really need to go in a size large, but I paired it with this just in case. I think it looks super cute. It's very lightweight um, to go to brunch with. And I also paired this with my black Steve Madden shoes. I got those in a size nine, I believe. They are like super comfortable. I wear these black mat these black Steve Madden shoe sneakers with everything because like I said, it's a neutral color, it's black. You can't really go wrong with the black sneaker. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you what size I got in the jumpsuit. Um, I got a size large in the jumpsuit. The only con I have about this jumpsuit is that the top, like, I don't know if it's because I'm bottom heavy and like, I feel like the top is, it slouches down. Like the top is supposed to be like, like a turtleneck, like it's supposed to stay up here, but it keeps slouching and you can see the, um, the collar like stretch a little bit. That's the only thing I would say about this. This is very stretchy. So you could even size down if you want it to, like if you want it like that nice bodycon snug feel, you could size down, but it is stretchy. Um, but that's the only con that I have about this outfit. Pretty basic, all black, can't go wrong with it. And then I paired it with my black purse um, that is very versatile as well. You can either wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it around your wrist or you can wear it as a clutch. Um, that I got from Windsor. Um, I can check their website to see if they have it on their website. If not, I can see if I can find something a lot more similar to that one. But yeah. Okay guys, so that is the end of today's lookbook video for vacation, bachelorette trip, girls trip, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit the like button and please also subscribe if you have not already. Especially if you made it to the end, baby, then you need to subscribe. Like, if you, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate your time today and tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye.